Hi, this is Serena from Maths Genie, and I'm just going to go over how our online classes work. So the things that I'm going to show you in this video is going to be first how the teachers are assigning the pages to the students for classwork, then how they check the pages, how they teach new skills, and then at the end of class how they do give those homework pages and how they give feedback to the parents still. And just to help out a little bit in demonstrating what the classes look like, I did grab a couple of clips from the classes over the last couple of days, and I'll have those right here beside me just so we can kind of go through those together. So what I'm starting off with is a teacher who's using Jamboard. Mr. Mohit's talked already about Jamboard. It's our online whiteboard, and that's one of the most common ways that our teachers will give pages to their students. It's really fun because we can set it up exactly like how we use the whiteboards in class. And then we can also use it to give demonstrations for any new Common Core materials or other topics as well. As the classes progress, the students will work on the content and they can notify the, the teacher when they're done. The students will read off the answers or hold up their books to show the answers and the teachers can check it. And now we have an example of one of our teachers who's using the online abacuses. So we developed this online abacus specifically so we could help students who are learning new abacus concepts because we couldn't be there in person moving the beads, helping them out. So we made the online version just so we can kind of walk them through the same concepts. And if students are having any problems with an abacus problem, we can go through it together and see exactly what the tricky parts are. And add, no. You got it. Take away the 10 and with the big oh, seven. Three. Three. So how do we add three when we can't add three? What do we have to do? Wait. You add skip one. You add the five and take away two. Very good. Yeah. There you go. So what do you have as your answer? Here's some more page checking. We're going to check page four, okay? Okay. So what did you get? How many paper clips before? Six. Uh, after that, how many bows? Nine. Only nine you got? Five. There's so many bows. Nineteen. Nineteen. There you go. And now an example Two of a student bows. holding up the page because with stuff like graphs, it can get very yes. tricky to have yes. them explain what's going on on the page. Five. So we'll have them just hold it up five. to double check anything five. that five. can't Beautiful. just be answered Lovely. by reading you off. You got it. Make a check mark. Here's some feedback. Hi there. Okay, so she did fantastic today. She learned a skipping rod, okay? A little harder for her to do it, but I explained her on my abacus. So for, for now, she's good, but she's not getting that page as a homework, okay? So we are good to go for this week. Common Core, there's no homework. We did the homework in the class as well. Okay, no homework for Common Core. Common Core. And by the way, the test she took, she got 95% on the test. 95%. That's Beautiful. The students, yes. they will take tests even online. We have digital versions of all of our tests. And so we're actually able to get the results even faster for a lot of the tests nowadays. So it's really exciting that we are able to use all the different materials online and that we can continue learning. So we're able to continue the classes basically the same as we were able to in person. We're keeping the classes all a little bit smaller. And then whenever your child does take a test, they get the new book. And we actually do mail out the physical copy of the book as soon as we can. So now that you've seen a little bit more about how the classes go, you've been able to see how the students are getting the pages, how they're learning new abacus problems and working with the teachers on those, along with a little bit of Common Core, and how the teachers are still able to check and keep going through the different materials along with how feedback, how it's still all the same stuff, we'll go over all the different tests, anything that they did good, any homework modifications. And one more thing, just to make our teachers' jobs a little bit easier, we do have a couple of requests. So the first request is that you do provide your child with headphones. We found that the students who are wearing headphones seem to be the most focused, and it's very easy for them to block out any distractions. They don't have to be as big as my headphones. They can just be little earbuds that they plug in, but they are incredibly helpful for our students. The second request is that the camera is pointed at the child. Ideally, if your child is sitting at a table, you can angle the camera so we can see your child and their page, a little bit of both at the same time, just so we can see exactly how they're pacing. So if they slow down on a certain problem, we can help with them out with that problem a little bit faster, a little bit easier. Our third and final request is that you leave the room or have the child in a space where they have as few distractions as possible. We want to make sure that the class is as similar to the in-person classes as possible and that we're really minimizing any distractions. 
Thank you so much. Have a great day and stay safe.